Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to look at this gritty looking effect that has been popping up all over the place. It's kind of a 300 desaturated gritty look and I'm using Tom Sobeck's picture from the Creative Commons that I've got over there. He's letting me use this to get this effect. Let's go ahead and take a look at this effect really quick. This is the original picture right there. Uh, that's a self-portrait of himself and I've kind of changed that to that gritty, uh, desaturated look. And I also want to give a little thanks to Howard over at Tutcast. He's got some great tutorials over there. Uh, they're mainly made for Photoshop, and I like to do these in Photoshop Elements to give everyone else a chance that has elements to do kind of the same effect here. Um, let's go ahead and look at some of the layers that I have here. I've created a hue and saturation layer to get rid of some of the color here to give it that uh, less saturated look, of course. I've got this layer here which kind of lightens and darkens some things and last but not least a levels adjustment layer to drop the uh, background lighting as well. So let's go ahead and start over by clicking on the background here. I'm going to hit the uh, option or the alt key and click on that and that's the original photo and then the rest of these I'm just going to drag to the trash because I'm going to redo this from scratch now if you have seen any of my videos before I like to start with the old command J or the control J to duplicate a layer there and then this is a layer that I'm going to use to do all the effects to because I like to uh, compare and contrast to the original background layer plus if you save it out as a Photoshop file you have the original photo down here that you can always uh, draw from so the first thing that I'd like to do and the uh, technique that I want to use is the um, sharpening here it's under enhance in Photoshop elements and we're gonna adjust the sharpness right there now this is where a lot of the magic happens right here you don't want to put too much of the sharpening effect here but I've uh, pretty much bumped mine I'll go ahead and just make it a nice round number at 200 and a radius of two pixels there and I'm going to remove the Gaussian blur there and I'm going to select OK so that's mainly it 200 now we're starting to get some really nice effects there let me go ahead and hit the alt option again as you can see here that's really sharpened up the image quite a bit you can see a lot of the beard going on here now the next thing I want to do here is to add another layer above this by going to layer new new layer here now this layer I'm going to use a different mode called the overlay mode and what that's going to do is it's going to allow me to darken and lighten a lot of these things now there's a checkbox down here that says fill with neutral gray we want to do that and select OK now you didn't notice any difference here that's because it dropped a gray layer here we're going to paint with white and black and we're going to lighten some of these areas and we're going to darken some of these areas so you need to get a paintbrush with kind of a a nice round feathered paintbrush here. I've got mine on 150 pixels, but of course you can use the bracket left and right key to make those bigger and smaller. And I only have an opacity of 8 set because I don't want to really uh, darken and lighten this too much. So I'm going to start right away with the dark one. I'm going to switch these by clicking this little arrow. You can always hit the X key on the keyboard. I'm going to darken some of these areas like his nose right here. You want to have a little bit uh, more gritty on the nose and then I'm going to take his beard here just keep clicking using the brush and as you can see by doing that I'm going to go up here to the layer you can see that there's kind of an outline starting and wherever I've put the black brush that's kind of where it's darkening I might want to darken uh, maybe some of his hair uh, some of his ear here maybe some of his neck some of the neck wrinkles anywhere that you can see that there might be some good texture to it you want to darken that up right in there and it's going to give it a really great look when we're done here so I'm just kind of taking this over here kind of darkening the uh, underneath the eyes kind of give it right under there where you kind of have some black circles sometimes on people um, still darkening the nose there darkening the beard right in there you can see that on the layer it's really starting to look right here like a person now I'm gonna take my brush gonna get it a little bit smaller here and I wanna swap that 
and I want to brighten up the eyes just a little bit here and brighten those eyes up just a tiny bit and maybe the top of the lip just a little bit here okay so now we've kind of darkened it and lightened it here now what we need to do is we need to add some adjustment layers that's the black and white cookie tool here click on that and we're gonna go down to hue and saturation when you do that it's gonna open up this little adjustment panel right here now we're going to drop the saturation for the entire thing first of all I'm gonna drop that saturation down and it's starting to look really nice there just take that color out of it and we need to also darken this so we're gonna swing that to the left here and maybe not too much there we go and then what we want to do is you notice that it still looks like a lot of color because we have a lot of uh, blood in uh, in our bodies and that produces a lot of red so I'm gonna to go to the reds right here and I'm gonna dial down the saturation in the reds as well I'm gonna take that down a lot more in the reds and I'm also going to shift the hue of the reds just to the light right just a little bit right there and then go ahead and just I'm gonna do a little more darkening just on the red channel now as you can see maybe on this picture I I might have overdone it just a little bit too much So let's go ahead and take it back let's go to the master here and maybe let's put a little bit of saturation back in that and there we go so we've kind of taken the reds out we've darkened this up a little bit here the next thing we need to do is we need to go over here and we need to add another adjustment layer and we're gonna adjust this with the levels right there and we really don't need to do anything with the black or white I'm very happy with where it's at but I'm gonna take the gray which is the middle slider right here and I am going to drag the gray slider to the right as you can see it kind of has that nice dark look to it you can still see now some of the areas right here are starting to disappear a little bit but that's okay because we have that real nice we want to see mainly the eyes and the lips and it's starting to have that really nice look to it now I'm gonna go ahead and hold the option or alt key down and click the original photo there and there we have the original photo and if I click it again you can see that it's starting to have that 300 gritty look to it it's also starting to darken our background so let me go ahead and give you a quick review of what we did on layer one we went into the enhance over here and we adjusted the sharpness and we put that at 202 and then we added a new layer and when we did that new layer we added a 50 percent gray overlay to that and we lightened the eyes and then we darken things like the eyebrows the nose right there and then the beard hairs and then we did a hue and saturation adjustment layer where we took the overall master hue and we took the saturation and lightness out of that and then we went to a second channel over there with the reds and we slid that to the right a little bit the hue and then we took the saturation and lightness out of the red as well and last but not least we took that levels adjustment layer and then we drug the gray slider over to the right to kind of give it that dark look and what we have is the dark gritty 300 or whatever you want to call this look from a self-portrait of Tom Sobeck so this is Chucky from Digital Goulash I hope you like that if you haven't done so already please subscribe Give me a thumbs up, and if you have time, visit some of my friends over here on YouTube, MyGeek85. That's Nina over there that does some news and unboxings, mainly Apple things, as well as Michelle over at Awesome Zero Down. Take care and cheers.